what's going on guys mega gig back with another video and we are back with another Malzahar video what already this is kind of boring isn't it well I wanted to make this video to uh, give a little more commentary on Malzahar and I feel like since his buffs or his nerfs or his changes all that stuff I haven't really given him a fair shake so uh, so when I first made the video about the changes, I was kind of sad, you know, that the old Malzahar is gone. Still am, but um, but I was really excited about his his Voidlings, and I really liked him in that video. But as I played him on and on, uh, I realized he, I didn't think he was as good as he was. Um, he didn't quite fit my playstyle of him, I guess. Change the champ, you got to change the playstyle. I was still trying to play him the same. And it kind of stayed that way. And in the last video I made, um, just not too long ago, I talked about how he's still pretty good, but he's been nerfed into the ground, which he kind of has. Um, but again, I wasn't really changing my place. I was still trying to play him like the old Malzahar. And the thing is, he's not bursty anymore. You can't use your, your R to burst anyone down anymore. Um, and so you got to kind of change your playstyle, change what uh, abilities you max out, etc. And any good league player knows that that you know you, if they change a champion, you have to change your playstyle. And I was just I was being resistant to that because I didn't want to change my playstyle because I was just really happy with where Malzahar was for the longest time. Um, so in this video, I'm going to kind of go over. Uh, why I, why I'm changing my opinion of him once again, and he's not OP, he's not really strong, but he's he's stronger than I was making him out to be uh, in the last video. And you can look around and ask a lot of Malzahar players, and they'll say they'll say the same thing. He's not he's not in a, a super great place right now, but. Uh, He's not as bad as I was making him out to be. So, so one of the key things, and I did this in the last video, um, but one of the key things that you change to make him better is instead of Thunder Lords, do Deathfire Touch. That works really well with his spells uh, later on in the game. Thunder Lords is nice for the poke early, but uh, and I apologize if I make any mistakes in this game, even though it is a ranked game. Because uh, I'm sitting here flapping my gums. This ought to push the whole wave and give me a good amount of mana back. Um, Thunder Lords is great for the poke early on. But uh, it doesn't do a lot late game. Deathfire Touch really scales well into the late game. And the second key thing about Malzahar's playstyle that you need to change is max your Q. Um, unless you're playing AD, you really don't max your W. And your E just doesn't do enough damage anymore to max it first. So, And your Q really gives you a really nice poke, and it allows you to push out waves as well, because it does a lot more damage to minion waves, and it resets your E. So it's, it's a little more mana heavy build early, but really, in in the long run, it works out uh, a lot better. You do a lot more uh, bursty damage, and it allows you to reset your reset your abilities. And darn, another point in the queue. It allows you to reset your E on things. It allows you to do a lot of damage. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back and get our... So yeah, I've been testing uh, this build out. I'll, I'll go over the items as well when I start to buy those. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back. She might stay... Nope, she's not going to stay. Uh, so you always want to start with a Lost Chapter. And then generally, 
depending on how the game's going, um, I'll probably get a Rileus's Crystal Scepter next. It's really great for slowing enemies and kiting them around. It gives you a major ability power and health spike as well. So it's got it's kind of got all your bases covered when it comes to a great item. And it looks like we're going to push out the back row first. Or maybe not. My... Woo! That didn't hit me and that didn't hit me. Nice. So we've got our R. Our R still doesn't do much. Even the percentage damage on high health targets doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, because they don't, they're only standing on it for two and a half seconds. If that, if you get lucky enough to get him to stand on it for that long. She's going to throw around my Voidlings. The trick against Syndra is to get another Voidling to spawn before she grabs one. Sorry, that didn't jump on her. Syndra's a pretty rough lane for anybody anymore. Let's throw... I guess we'll throw that there. I don't quite have that covered, but... So you can see how much damage your Q does, even at level three. Almost half of the of the uh, the melee, and that hit her too. Oh, jump to her! Darn, I missed both those. 47 to 44, pretty much even in CS. Once she gets those two, we will be even. All right, one short. Warded. It was warded. I thought she was going to go in. Don't want to tank those too much because over a little bit of time, they'll do some damage. And you can see I didn't get my Voidling to kill things fast enough before she grabbed it. That time I did. But we are making her use a lot of mana. Do a little damage off on her. Once we get a needlessly large rod, we'll really start doing damage. See if we can. Oh, she... oh, we did get it to reset. Thank you. Woo! Nice. Good job. First blood. Oh, oh, that was first blood too. Almost got the cinder as well. Good job. And we have enough mana, darn. I was going to say, we could push out that wave really quick. We've got the blue buff. She was going back, but I didn't cancel my recall in time. It was great that Vi was coming in. I went ahead and put down my W to start spawning on Volivare and then ult him. They'll start doing some damage. You really have to know when to put your W down, when to do your spells. It's a little more... Uh, Malzahar is a little more meticulous now and when you have to cast your spells and what you cast when and it kind of changes throughout the game there's not any one rotation like there was you know it's not always Q E W or you know whatever Ugh. yeah we got that jump nice now we'll level up our E I got you bye don't worry Thought I could steal it. Oh. <laughs> and Walla Bear's still being chased around by my. Sure. Still being chased around by my Voidlings. Yeah, we'll take the blue buff. Why not? Go ahead and cast our E. And we'll do that and reset it. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Do some damage. There we go. We got one to spawn. Uh, 
And if we can catch her in our ult, we might be able to kill her. Land a good grab. That might be a good game. Oh. Cinder Flash. Yeah, we did get that off on her. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Good job. Now, once you get your E and your Q maxed out and you get a little bit of cooldown reduction, you can just mainly, you can basically keep your spells uh, going at all times. You can uh, lay an E on there and then you can do a Q and reset it and by the time it's about done, you can put another E on there. And we're going to go ahead and push this out. Take our last point in our queue and go back. We're going to get the health portion. Uh, eh, are we? I don't know. Now let's get some boots. I'm going to be able to move around to dodge her spells a little better. And we'll get that. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and keep my biscuits for now. Just because uh, if I sell them now, they sell for 20 I get 40 back. I bought them for 100. That's 60. Yeah, that's 60 gold. It would be completely wasted. Oops. Messed that up. Woo! Walk out of the way of that. Darn. Whoa! Where are you going, Malzahn? Whoa, am I lagging? Oh, I am lagging. Holy lag. 250. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there. Okay, okay, it dropped. What was that? Whoa. Yeah, you guys saw that, didn't you? Cleared all oh my guys. Yeah, we did some damage to her. Got the silence off. Take another point. NRE. Generally, I like to level up your E second for the cooldown reduction and the amount of mana that it gives you back. Um, that actually doesn't increase, does it? No, that doesn't increase anymore. What was I think? Still thinking the old Malzahar. Woo! Do some damage off on her. Ouch. Wanted to get my E on her. Oh, come on, by. I was gonna go. I was ready. I was ready. That's all right. Whoa! Lag again. What is going on with this ping? Let me check and see. No, I don't know what's going on. I alt tabbed out for a second to check, but uh, but yeah, I I don't know. And she just wasted her throw, which is good for us to get our voidling going. Of course, none of the rest of the stuff seemed to have went off all right. Sindra's gonna head up there. I guess we'll go. Go find her, maybe. No. Nope. Oh, she's still top. I'm gonna push mid. Again. 
got a Voidling army going on the tower a little bit, kinda. Who's teleporting? Uh, Dar no Head to flash, but we got him. All right, let's get that, and we'll get. We'll finish off our boots next back, and then we'll get. And then we'll finish off our Morella Namicon, Get some good cooldown reduction. After Morella Namicon, we'll either go into Alien Injuries Torment. If we're getting really ahead, or if we're getting, uh, if we're having to fight a little bit more, we'll get a Zonia's to save our bacon. Would have been really good against the Darius. What is this lag? My ping didn't spike that time, but it felt like it felt like it was going off. Yeah, let's just keep dodging her stuff. Oh. Uh, get the wallet bear. Come on, Q. Good job. Sorry, Vi. I wanted, but didn't see. <laughs> Keep getting bits of lag. But at least we're doing pretty good other than that. And it looks like we can probably just go ahead and take... I didn't do that very well. Probably go ahead and take the mid tower. Same as uh, before the changes, you want to wait till the tower is focusing the siege minion to spawn your voidlings. That way they're up as long as they can be, because these voidlings will get one shotted. So. Uh oh. Darn. Wasn't watching. The Darius came mid. I don't even know. Dar is mid. Three mid. I should have had a ward. I don't think Jace pinged it, but I probably should have been paying attention. Let's get that. And that. Yeah, we got it. Probably should have taken top. Jace can push towers really, really fast, uh, switching back and forth, you know, between his hammer mode and his, uh, and, uh, what is it, his, uh, cannon mode, using his W and then switching back and getting the hammer passive. 132 CS to 123, so we are beating her in CS, and we've got one more kill. She hasn't died yet, though. Good job. They got the dragon, so that's good for us. Oh, there's a pink cord there. We should have our R really soon. There it is. Nice job. Throw it up here. Go right there. Do 
That should clear. We're gonna go ahead and go back, I think. Well, there's another wave here. We may as well take this wave. I think we can. Just by doing that. Yeah, now we're gonna go back and get ourselves some cooldown reduction. Hopefully we get a couple of those. We didn't. Bummer. Get that. I guess we'll go ahead and sell these. Pretty close to our Morellonomicon. About a hundred away, a little over. And Jace is teleporting in. We're coming down as well. We don't have our ultimate yet. How's Jace doing? He's got that kill. He's doing good. I guess I'll go somewhere else. Stop taking my towers. Uh. Uh. Oh, we might get the volley bear. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, so close. Good job. We almost got the ball of air. He's just so beefy. All right, let's go back. Get some more cooldown reduction. I think we're also going to go with a Zonia's because their team has a lot of gap closer. Go with the Zonia's next. That will get us more cooldown reduction. That'll put us at 30 percent. Max we can get is 40 because we don't have the mastery to bump us to 45. Yeah. Sure. Without question. Sure thing. Thanks. Throw that there. No, oh, I guess we won't go. Get up. We'll have forty percent with the blue. We got an assist there, too. Uh oh. Rest in peace. Yeah, those Darius resets, they're. they resets. Need some help up there, down there, wherever. Not gonna sell our Doran's ring yet. I like to keep that 60 health for as long as I can. Because there's plenty of times when I've lived with less than 60 health, and it's because of that Doran's ring. And it's not really, if I sell it, it's not really gonna get me anywhere. I don't even think I'd have enough to get my Secret Drum Guard. Coming, 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 coming. Oh, that dash. Whoa. Wait for me. Yeah, that'll work too. Alright, we got the reset. There goes like half of all of their health. Whoa! Oh no! That arrow! Come on! My passive was not up.
should have just poked more. Don't dive their towers with that team. And it is an inferno. Need a Baron Ward. Oh. Let's... We've got two of those, but I really want to switch to this. No, we've got three of those. Let's not. Assist though. We can Baron. Aww. Well, we'll go ahead and eat Paula Bear. Oh! Whoa, doggy. Let's. Leave. We don't have zonias. <laughs> the burn. Watch the arrow. And we need zonias. We are way, way, way too low. You're not gonna catch me. Whoa! <laughs> My passive came up right at the right time, didn't it? Panicked. <laughs> that won't get us our zone because we're a hundred away. Need more for Zonias. Need more for Zonias. I think this wave will get us there. Yeah, I got us there. I don't know. We're going to just throw our ward right there. He's slowed. He's slowed. Ah! All right, fine. We could have killed him. Need my zonias. All right, now we'll get this. This will bump up our damage quite a bit. Getting nothing. There's an assist. Push. I'll defend. I ought to be able to defend this pretty easy. Famous last words. Probably took my blue. Or Vise blue. We're going to push one more wave and go back. And buy one of those. Not going to be able to get that for a while. Our haunting guys. A while. 
Get a little bit more AP. Oh, rest in peace. Darius Flash too. Oh. That passes. I really need that. My Morella Namicon helped, but not terribly, it didn't seem like. That Q wasn't very good. We're going to get an inhibitor, and we might be able to rush Baron after that. Someone. Oh, nice. I got it. Twenty seven. Man, we're so far away. But the haunting guys will help. See how much gold it gives me for dragon. I don't think it'll be near enough. Sixteen hundred. Didn't give me any. For some reason, I thought it was going to be something. Good job. Set up for Baron. Get those. And then we'll come to the blue. Yay! Careful. Let me grab the end, Reese. No, stop, stop, stop! No! You guys didn't wait for me! Guys, I said wait. <laughs> well, at least I killed the Ash. But I don't know if it was worth for my flash, and then I died too. Oh. Well, we got our Leandries. What do we want to get for a last item? Could get a Void Staff. How much MR do they got? MR, one MR item. I've only got one MR item. And I've got... Hmm. I wonder. Abyssal would be okay. Because it would give me some magic resist as well. And lower theirs. Void Staff's a pretty powerful item. 
I don't know, we don't have to decide just yet. This is the main core of your Malzahar build, in my opinion. Good job with the steel! Yeah, they're doing alright with that one. Nice. Alright. So Lucian got the Penta kill, and that's going to be a good game. Good game, all. So, I've once again, kind of, sort of, in a way, changed my opinion of Malzahar. I still don't like it as much as I used to, but uh, after, you know, reading up on some builds, reading up on some play styles, doing a little studying and not just trying to play the way I used to play, I found that he's not as bad as I thought he was. He's actually still pretty good. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, um, and if you like the video, leave a like, and go ahead and comment as well, and subscribe if you haven't done that. More good stuff to come, guys. Thanks for watching. Hee <laughs> hee.